Hello everybody, and welcome to the next part of Mega Man 2 of Mega Man The Legacy Collection. Uh, last time we left off, we actually defeated Air Man and Crash Man. So now we're down to two Robot Masters in the series of Mega Man 2. So who are we gonna fit? Who are we gonna fight right now? Well, we're gonna go after Quick Man and his treacherous level. God help me. I mean, he's down with the quickness here, but he didn't see her nor there. All right, so you're gonna learn really fast why this level is really bad. Like, right from the get-go. It's really dangerous. And we have the spaghetti monsters right there. But, this is why it's dangerous. Those things right there. These laser beams, you have to be quick, as the game intends. You have to be quick in order to be there. So, you gotta be quick to dodge, you gotta be quick on your feet, otherwise you're gonna get killed. Because those are one-hit kills. Meanwhile, the rest of the stage, it isn't bad. The only reason why it's so tough is because of the laser section. And trust me, there's a next one. There's a next one coming up. Um, right here. So, you gotta be fast. And unfortunately, I wasn't. <laughs> Anyways. So, now that you know what to expect, you gotta be very pinpoint on dodging all of the uh, laser beams that are coming towards you. Otherwise, well, you're in for a death. And I think this is one of the hardest stages. I mean, if you're not using the flash stopper. So here we go. Oh, wait, actually. It's better to go to the right instead. The first time around. Don't go towards the laser. Because you're basically just going to about to kill yourself. Yep. So anyways, like this is all about memory and just amount of focus. You gotta just be cautious where you go. Otherwise you will not make it. Huh. Come on, come on, come on, come on! You gotta be quick on your toes. Go, go, go! Try to grab that if you can. But if you can't, that's fine. It's not worth the death. It's not worth the death. Oh boy. And hell, like, if you thought the level was bad, Quick Man's pretty fucking tough, too. I mean, hell, he's probably one of the worst ro robot, uh, robot masters to fight with his weakness. Really difficult. Ah! Oh. Well, honestly, I kind of expected that on this stage of all stages. Mostly because it's so easy to die, and I don't want to use uh, the the flash stopper on any of that right there to stop time. Mostly because you're gonna need it against Quick Man, because that's his weakness. But if you'll soon learn that that probably won't be the case in a few minutes. So I went to the right this time. There are branching paths that you can take for pickups like a, like you just saw. I mean if you go to the right it's more risky because you gotta dodge an extra laser, and like I said, they're one it kills. Usually some of the pickups are not really that much worth it, unless 
It's an E-Tank? Really? I mean, like, E-Tanks are good that you usually want to get. I mean, that's what I'll sacrifice myself for. But anything less than that... Anything less than that, and I'll just ignore it. Mostly because, I mean, you can get those other things from enemies, really. I mean, you can't really think of... I can't really think of a way you get an 18 from an, from an enemy. Alright, here we go. My 40 meter dash. Let's do this. 40 meter dash! Come on, baby! Woo! Alright. Go, 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 go! Oh my god. Man, this is intense! Race against time! Race against the clock! Let's go, go, go! Oh! They got me last time. They think I didn't get me this one. Okay. That's the laser section. And now you gotta deal with Sniper Joe Max. Honestly, I'll take Sniper Joe Max anytime. Compared to... Laser Room. Also, don't double back on yourself. Otherwise, you're gonna get killed by these things. But anyways. How many lives have we got? We got an E-Tank, and we got three lives. Okay. So I'm just gonna fight Quick Man regularly. I don't want to waste a Flash Stopper. So Quick Man, as you can tell, he's quick in the name. But he's really tough because he'll hit you like a truck. Well, actually, I take that back. But he'll throw like three beam, through yeah, three boomerangs down in the field, and then he'll run towards you. So this is what I'm talking about when I say don't use the flash stopper if you can help it. But if you have to, then go ahead. But for now, round two, quick man. Okay, so here's what it's gonna do. You can freeze him in time, but. As you see, Flash Stopper's going down faster than his health. So that's half his health. So what you're going to need to do, and you're going to need to use, after you're done with Flash Stopper, use the Crash Bombs. Um, really interesting thing about the Crash Bombs. You can redirect it. Also, I might have to use an A tank. Because, honestly, um, Quick Man's just tough. There we go. I knew that was a little bit sloppy, but... To be fair, um, Quick Man is really tough, especially with his stage. He has these little platforms that he can just run over. But anyways... Uh, and the next weapon is the Quick Boomerang. Uh, is this weapon any good? Uh, honestly, I say yes. It's really fast, and if you take on Quick Man, like, before anybody else, I mean, you can basically use it as a, repa a replacement Mega Buster. But anyways, uh, Last Man Standing is Heat Man. Uh, look at this Matchbox-looking ass. Ugh. Lighter. Anyways, as you can tell, Heat Man's stage is full of fire. I mean, no duh. And of course, these propeller enemies are back from flat, um, uh, Crash Man's stage. They're gonna chase you. Just be careful when you jump. Oh, look, and our, our friendly neighborhood canisters are here. I don't want none of your selling. None of it. So, you're wondering why I took on everybody else before Heatman? Because honestly, Heatman, out of everybody, he ain't that bad. Like, compared to Quick Man and, and Air Man, in my opinion. Well, you're about to see why I didn't take him on first. Our old friends are back. The disappearing, reappearing blocks. 
Like I said, it's patience, space. Just be patient and you'll get to where you're going. But you'll see in a minute once we're coming up. We're coming up to it, but there is a disappearing, reappearing block puzzle that's really tough. Mainly because of how many pieces you have to pay attention to. Also, be careful on that one, because that one will push you off. That block that just right there when we were next to the crash bomb. Okay, so here it is. This is the block puzzle that everybody doesn't like. Now, I would have a problem if I went to Airman stage, or I didn't go to Airman stage, and get item number two. You could just cheese this. Now you're wondering why, mostly because, well, look at that. It's, it's, it keeps going. It's almost endless. Here's our sniper mech right here. Gotta be careful here, otherwise we're gonna have to go back. It's a chess match. Alright, I win, Sniper Joe. There we go. That's so weird. Um, I'm using the Xbox One controller. And what it's doing is sometimes when you go to the left or right, when you're playing in the Legacy Collection, I will grab the ladder by accident. And I don't want to. So, uh, last Robot Master, Pete Man, is, is actually weak to bubble lead. I mean, come on, water putting out fire. I mean, come on. Well, I didn't really have any health right there, so that's okay. But now, we'll come kick it. We'll come kick his matchbox looking ass. Let's go. So, Bubble Ed, like I said, it's not my favorite power-up because it's just so bad because you can't really arc it. It'll travel on the ground. But, like, other than, like, traveling fast and taking out Heat Man, I can only think of a few uses for Bubble Ed. But, Here's our final power-up. Get equipped with Atomic Fire. And we forgot our last power-up from Dr. Light. Item 1. Now, Item 1 is an air platform that you can materialize and shoot out. I mean, most of them are already platform-based, but this one's like, it flies up in the air. And Atomic Fire, uh, what you can do for it is you can use it and you charge it up. And here we are. Our generous Dr. Wily giving us his eyebrow wiggle. Now, I say, I say we go pay him a visit. Mostly because he's asking for it. So we'll actually go after Wily. Right here. In the next episode. So. As long as he's out here. We're going up to the final confrontation right here. He's ready and we're ready. In the next episode. This has been Inferno Nomad. And this is the end of the part. Have a good day, everybody.